Uh, this is David. I thought I would just make a quick screencast of this walkthrough of Viviani's theorem I uh, use in graspel math. It's a super fun theorem that basically says that the height of an equilateral triangle, that's the height here, is equal to the sum of this particular value off of the interior point. So pick any interior point, which here has the label E, and then just draw a line from that point down to the edge of the triangle. Just draw a straight line down to the edge of the triangle, take those three points, one to each edge, and the height of each of those added together is equal to the height of the whole triangle. So that's the theorem. And this one's super easy to write a proof for, which is pretty cute if you just think about the definition of a triangle. You know the definition of a triangle. The area of the triangle is one-half B times the height of the triangle. Now the key trick, visually, is to realize that this, this big triangle can be made up of three little triangles. So if you think about that big triangle, it's made up of these three little triangles each of which um, you know, connects from that point out to a corner, and therefore it has a base equal to the um, side of the equilateral triangle, that is the same base as the whole triangle, and it has a height equal to those three lines that we were interested in. And of course, because it's the same area, the area of the whole triangle must be the sum of the areas of these three pieces. Um, here, you can see this proof gets broken a little bit, so I'm just going like, to rederive it over to the side, which is easy enough. So. I'll show you that. So what we do is we have the definitions for the triangles right here. Let me just grab those and pull them in. And you can see now what I've done is just taken the original triangle definition and just filled in each of the, the values. And then what we're going to do um, to make things, uh, we're just going to start rearranging things to make things a little bit cleaner, right? So I'm going to take this B and stick it up here just so it's pretty. Um, and then I'm going to factor my one-halves out. There we go. Factor my one-halves out and factor out my Bs. Right? And what you can see is because each of these triangles has the same base, because a half is a half on both sides of the equation, um, we can basically cancel out this b over 2. So I'll just bring that over to the other side and just cancel it out really quick. And what you can see is, there we go, the height of the triangle is equal to the height of the elements. And you know you can kind of see, okay, we've got the one height came from the triangle, we've got the height that came from x, the height that came from y, the height that came from z, and of course all of the b's got grouped together and canceled out and died over here on the side of the triangle. Um, so quite a straightforward, nice little proof, and that's all there is to it. Thanks.